Hello guys and welcome back to another Jack YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you Dr. Wendell Tully's lab and explained what happened and why the man lives here. The first room will be probably the um, science main room. You'll have the lab chair, some of lab equipment. There's not really much to do here except for you're going to have to run from a black widow on the way. And the black widowlings will follow you so you might want to get rid of those. Once you're done with that, this door should have no button. You can just walk straight through this, walk down this aisle, and keep walking until you reach another door. You'll have to press this button for this door to open. Once you press that button, and you'll be in this room. You can set your respawn point for the boss fight. You have this door will be locked, so um, you gotta wait for your quest to be done until you can go through it. This button won't work. You go this way, then you'll reach this door. Open that and there will be bugs. I'm sorry I already defeated the bugs but I forgot because I forgot to record that. You'll walk into this area and there'll be some things for you to collect like a, um, a record player. My Uniform for fighting this boss would be Roly Poly Helmet Level 1, Roly Poly Breastplate Level 2, and then regular Roly Poly Leg Plates. And the weapon you, of my choice will be the Mint Mace, because the, um, the man is the most weak to Fresh, and the Mint Mace uses an ability Fresh. So that's what I would recommend using for this boss battle. Once you're done with that, you have some things you can pick up. You might be full on inventory, so you might have to get rid of some stuff. I would recommend getting rid of your worst stuff before getting rid of your best stuff. You pick up the stuff that you need, and then you get ready. After the boss fight, there will be a bunch of food for you to collect. You walk past this table again, and there will be a lab research note, hidden right here. It's called Project Man Test Drive 1. It's teaching you about the Mant boss fight. It will be helpful while you're fighting it. Once you go this way, after you've flicked the switch in that one room where I showed you where all the stuff is, this door behind it should open. If you can peek good enough, you should see a hole. And that's where you're going to enter to fight the Mant. You walk down this staircase, then you'll land in this room. Here's the bad boy himself. He's very strong, so I'd recommend using the items I've shown you. Make sure your water is filled up and that you're ready for this. He, can, he has two forms, one where he can summon soul, fire soldier ants and one where he can summon regular fire ants. When you get into the boss battle arena with him, you got to deal with his attacks at first. You can do perfect blocks in this battle. It's not like it's different to any other. He has 46 bars of health, so he's different to regulars. Whenever he puts on his hand on his head, he's getting ready to do a charge attack. So get ready to block. You see, when I, when he picks up a bomb from his head, that will explode and do a rapid amount of damage. Almost half my health. So I'd recommend staying away from their bombs. And it should protect you more than not, really. Once you get enough hits on him, he should get low. You may need to use some heal bosses in the middle of the game. Then you start fighting again. If you miss one shot, then you might be in a bit of trouble. If you hit all your shots, then it, you might be able to win. You see here, I didn't hit many shots. And he keeps throwing his sticky bombs at me. So that's how I'm being pulled towards him. I need to use a heal buffer real quickly. Oopsies. Once you're done, he'll drop a thousand raw signs and the man gold card. 
and you will also get the mutation Monsterous Stranger. You pick his up, him up, you keep walking. You would need to press this button before you leave, and that opens that gate. You need to use a biometric scanner to open up this door because it's locked. His weakness is fresh, stabbing in one more. It's slashing. So using the spicy coltana, half of the spicy coltana should be enough to defeat him. But I wouldn't recommend using it as my weapon of choice. I could beat him with it because I have a tier 9 spicy coltana. Better than the usuals. And this door will be locked so you gotta press this button. Once you're done, you'll be back in this room. And he won't be there no longer. You walk up this aisle. And this is where you're going to find Dr. Wendell Tully himself. He's in this. So you use another biometric scanner and this SpaceX looking capsule will open. Just look at it from the top and it opens. And this is Dr. Wendell himself. He looks a little weird the way he is. That's probably because he got infused with war science. He, you can see his stamina bar, his thirst bar, his hunger bar, and his health bar. By the looks of it, his health bar shouldn't be high. And this stuff, you should be able to read yourself. But if, unless you can read it properly, I'll go slow for you. Most of it is just telling you about the storyline, so most of it isn't really important. But if you still want to read it, you can. Make sure to pause in between each one if you need to. After you're done speaking with him, the door in the background will open. And that's how you will get the bunch of food I was talking about. I'll use a torch for you to see correctly. You, he tells you about the embiggening cocktail, what you can get the next recipe. It's called the grill, Grilled Science. It's what you, you gain in the second room in the background. Once you're done talking with him, this door will open. You can also grab a scabby on the way. I'm not sure why it has half thirst and half hunger and then full health, half stamina. And here's all the food I was talking about. You grab your grilled sides and here's a bunch of food you can eat. I'll eat this for now. Then you can grab all this food for a side ad. And I'm going to eat the rest of it for no reason, I just don't want the co-workers to have anything. When you're done, you have to take him to the, um, a machine. I forgot what it was called. And then you say follow follow me and then you lead him the way to the Javamatic machine where you'll put in the embiggening cocktail and 
fight, well not really fight, sorry to scare you, um, you put in the invigorating cocktail and then you get ready. You won't turn large instantly though, you still need to wait a while. You will spawn out the front of the termite cave. So you just walk, if a threat gets detected, if you see what it is, make sure to try and stay away. This is a new type of bug. It's called the Orc Fireworker Ant. They're very tough. Keep in mind. But I hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.